old Peter McKinnon bags versus new Luma Peter McKinnon bags. Which is better? That's how we're gonna break down today so that we can save some money where we can and still be able to carry the gear the way that we want to. I've invested in many different camera bags through the past eight years since starting my photo video journey as a hobbyist, church media team volunteer, and now a part-time content creator. So far, the Peter McKinnon ones have been some of my favorite bags that I've ever used. The thing is, they've been so good at allowing me to pack a lot of stuff that over time, it has started to become an actual problem for my back and shoulders. And I didn't start photo and videography to be a better weightlifter. So I bought all the Peter McKinnon bags and tried them all out to see what they all offered and which one was actually going to be right for me. For this comparison, I'll be interchangeably using the word original and premium for the first line of Peter McKinnon bags to help differentiate between the new Luma bags. We have here a collection of bags ranging from eight liters to 35 liters. The sling bags are an eight liter, nine liter, and 12 liter, while the backpacks are 18 liter, 25 liter, and 35 liter. How trusty is the build of these bags though? In regards to the zippers, they're YKK zippers, which haven't given me any issues. On the outer shell, although there is a weather resistance on the original Peter McKinnon line bags, there is none on the new Luma collection. If anything, there is a lighter version of moisture resistance for the Luma collection, but don't count on heavy weather resistance for the Luma collection. For sure, both of the main compartments of each bag will remain dry if you so happen to catch yourself in some rain. If you're in a place that rains heavily, you may want a more dedicated rain fly, especially for the Luma 18 liter bag. But if you're a frequent traveler and find yourself testing your gear in the elements, I would recommend you towards the premium line. On the inside of all these bags, you'll have that nice felt material and they're all pretty much the same across all these bags. So your gear is nice and comfortable. One of the noticeable differences between these bags though is the color choices. While the original bags come in black, the new Luma bags come in orange, green, gray, and if you still want, black. I decided to go with some gray, but hopefully it'll be easy to clean as I use it over time. So if the color of your bag matters to you, you may have already started leaning towards the Luma collection, but hang in with me here. If you look closer at the backpack straps, you'll also see that there are sternum straps for all of them. But if you think that you're going to pack a lot of gear, you may want to purchase the additional waist strap with the travel bag for support, but it only comes with the travel bag. What's it like to actually carry your gear with the straps? Well, the 18 liter has the least amount of cushion in the camera straps compared to the other two. The experience still holds true even if I pack an additional five to 10 pounds worth of gear in all the bags. When using the 25 liter everyday bag, yes, we got the most cushion straps that I've ever used, but immediately you feel the weight of the bag alone and its sturdiness at 1.4 kilos or three pounds. Thanks to the extra padding though, the additional weight from packing your gear doesn't feel as drastic as the next bag. Because at 35 liters with an expandable seven liter compartment in the front, the Peter McKinnon travel bag sits on your shoulders at 2.6 kilos, nearly six pounds before adding additional gear. Yet the experience is similar to that of the 25 liter where it feels weighted at first and then you slowly start to feel the extra weight of the gear that you pack. If you got a lot of big and heavy gear, the waist strap comes in clutch. But I'm not about that life anymore. Since my wife and I are no longer long distance, I haven't needed to travel as much with camera gear. Nowadays, I'm rocking slings for the daily trips. Like this one right here, the Peter McKinnon 8 liter sling. I personally appreciate the movable cushion strap as it doesn't feel like I have a naked seatbelt pushing down on me as I walk around. Meanwhile, looking at the 9 liter Luma bag, you'll find no adjustable cushion strap. Little bit of a bummer, but most likely your kit will be so small that you won't even warrant the need for an additional cushion. But at 12 liters, that story may change as we're able to accommodate a deeper depth for our camera gear. So full frame lenses are going to be more favorable towards this kind of sling. I believe you can fit a 70 to 200 millimeter lens in there, but just barely, like my Sigma 50 to 100 millimeter with an adapter attached. Nonetheless, it fits. Now, how about laptops and tablets? In my pursuit of a lighter carry, I've decided to leave my MacBook at home and travel more with my tablet for lighter productivity. Unfortunately, none of the sling bags have a sleeve for a tablet of any size. Maybe if there was demand for it, Nomadic can make a dedicated tablet divider for the 12 liter. Hmm? But if you want to carry any tablet or laptop, 
we just have to stick to the backpacks which all fit a 16 inch laptop. Of all the laptop sleeve placements, I favor the 18 liter bag as it's placed right at the top. I prefer this over the 25 liter everyday bag where they place it on the side. The way I like to carry, I find the zippers are too close together on the 25 liter. So when I wanna access my laptop compartment, I often find myself reaching for the main compartment zippers instead since the way that I pack, they're bunched closely together. Nonetheless, I still find this better than the travel bag, which has a laptop sleeve in the main compartment being secured with a Velcro strap. And there's no separate tablet sleeve. Either way, you can still fit a computer of some form factor. You just have to choose one. Although the 25 liter bag has a side access for the laptop sleeve, there's no side access for a camera. Instead, you're given two magnetic flaps on either side to hold a water bottle or a tripod, or both. You just need the additional accessory strap to secure the tripod. The 18 liter and 35 liter bag do have side access though, while still giving you the option for that water bottle pocket on the other side. On top of the 18 liter and 35 liter, if you'd like to have a quick access pocket in the front of your bag for the wallet and keys, you got one. But for the 25 liter, in order to access such a pocket, you'd have to go through the top bunk. In this top bunk, you also have two stretchable pockets for small things like lens cleaners or maybe an SD card or battery. The 18 liter also has a top bunk, but just note that this cavity is also accessible through the main compartment. Unlike the 25 liter, which I have the ladder system, that includes a flap preventing that open access. Of course, if you want to, you could just pull it down or push it down, whatever you want. When you look at the main compartment of the 18 liter and 25 liter, you'll see that it almost looks like the 18 liter is bigger because of that open design. Whereas the 25 liter seems only half as big because half of it is blocked by that top bunk. But of course, if you don't want that top bunk to begin with, you can just remove that ladder system. Or if you want a deeper top bunk, you can even bring that ladder down like so. Whatever style you'd like to rock. For the 35 liter, if you're not accessing the main compartment through the side, you're going through the main zippers, where you see the entire bag, flat lay style. What I appreciate on Nomadic's bags is that on the other side of their main compartment, they maximize the space of their backside for mesh pockets. The premium line has a single mesh pocket for each row but in the Luma line, they actually stitched in a divider. I love that. How about the slings? They also have mesh pockets that have stitched in dividers and that can easily fit SD cards and batteries, whereas the original eight liter has a single mesh pocket with elastic slots for SD cards, batteries, and filters. You could also fit the same in the nine liter bag and 12 liter bag, they just won't be as organized. You'd have to dedicate a slot in your main compartment for filters and maybe multiple SD cards for better organization. In terms of functionality, the eight liter bag was said to be made in this particular shape so that you have this kind of mini table to be able to move around your accessories and lenses, whatever you pack. You won't get that with the nine liter bag, but I personally haven't noticed a difference since I don't use the eight liter sling in that way. My favorite part of the eight liter sling is the bungee cord that allows for closing the lid temporarily when you don't wanna to have to constantly zip and unzip just to access your gear. If you're switching between lenses or something and you wanna save time from zipping and unzipping, the cord prevents your stuff from falling out in between lens switches. This will be great for photographers on shoot or videographers walking around with different lenses or whatever accessories at their side. To improve on the bungee cord concept, the Luma bags have switched to a magnetic lid instead. So the nine liter and 12 liter bag have two magnets on the lid and two magnets in the main compartment. So in a similar way, you're still able to open the bag, grab what you need, close the bag, and that's it. No fancy hand coordination necessary. The magnets are strong enough to keep it secure as long as you're not aggressively shaking it. I prefer the magnets over the bungee cord any day of the week for its ease and longevity. Of course, you could abuse the bungee cord on the eight liter by reaching out of the sides, but it's probably gonna wear down over time. So nice move on the switch, no matter computer. Although the backpacks don't involve magnets, the 18 liter bag sports an alternative tripod carrying method than what I'm used to. While we still have the option to place our bags on the side pocket, we can also use the boot on the back of our bag and secure our tripod at the attachment points at the top with the included strap. I prefer it this way as I find it a sleeker way to travel while I'll avoid bumping into people as I'm walking step by step. 
Going into the inside of the main compartment, we have dividers that many camera peeps are familiar with. And when you look closer, these dividers are more flexible if you want to adapt more curved shaped compartments than the typical straight squared ones. The premium Peter McKinnon ones are more square and then the Luma collection has the curved design. But of course you can also make it in a way where it's also straight. With the bendable dividers, you're able to maximize the space of your slings as you could cradle your lenses in a way that just keeps them on the side and elevated while trying to sneak smaller accessories right at the bottom like filters or some other smaller accessories. Now, although these fancy curved dividers come with all the Luma bags, do note that you have to pay extra to get dividers for the 25 liter and 35 liter bag. Nomadic made it a way that you can keep your system modular with the 25 and 35 liter. Starting with the most possibilities in the 35 liter bag, you can get different camera cubes to fit inside the way that you like to travel. You can even fit the eight liter sling inside the 35 liter sling. The travel bag has a lot of room to fit a lot of accessories, whether you want camera cubes or cubes that turn into bags or just camera accessories like for filters and batteries. The everyday bag is something similar where it has a modular system, but you can't fit an eight liter sling in there. Nonetheless, all these bags stand by Nomadic's value of being functional bags. They all store gear simply and efficiently. Realistically, how big of a setup can you fit in these bags? Well, the truth of the matter is you can easily rock a two camera and two lens setup in these camera bags. You could even add a drone if you like. I don't got one anymore, but of course the smaller the better when it comes to packability. Yes, the main compartment is deeper in the premium camera bags and you'll notice it if you like to pack your camera bodies on the side rather than flat on the bottom. If anything, it's deceiving to say that the 18 liter camera bag is seven liters less than the everyday 25 liter bag, but can almost pack just as much. For the slings, you'll be able to pack your drone, single camera setup, and maybe even another lens too. The packing experience has been easier for me with the 9 liter and 12 liter bag because of the open space compared to the caved in edges on the 8 liter. But for slings, I favor more towards the 12 liter because of that ability to pack more stuff. If you got any issues with any of these bags while owning them, be at peace knowing that all of them come with a lifetime guarantee. The price of the premium Peter McKinnon bags start at $159 for their sling, $299 for their everyday 25 liter and $399 for their travel bag 35 liter. No additional camera cubes or dividers included in those prices. The new Luma bags, however, start at $119 for their 9 liter sling, $139 for their 12 liter sling, and $219 for the 18 liter backpack that come with dividers. But who should be getting what bag? For the price alone for slings, unless weather resistance is important to you, skip the 8 liter sling and just get either the 9 or the 12 liter Luma sling. For the price, you're really not sacrificing much value. I personally have not liked using 10 liter slings until I started using the one from Moment, but the Luma 12 liter is comfortable and roomy. When it comes to backpacks though, it's a little different. Yes, if you want the weather resistance on the outer shell along with all the modularity with camera cubes and such, go for the original Peter McKinnon bags. If you're a frequent traveler and carrying a bag that will weather life's literal storms and elements, and those bags will fit you best. But if you're looking for an upgrade from the eight liter sling or any sling, but don't wanna to commit to a big old 25 or 35 liter bag, the 18 liter bag is perfect. No need for camera cubes, the dividers are more than enough, and as someone who's prioritizing having a lighter carry, the 18 liter fulfills that easily. Yes, it lacks some depth when packing, but you'll hardly even notice it. If you want more weatherproofing, sure, choose the 25 liter everyday bag over the 18 liter Luma bag. But if you still want the best of the best, then just go straight to the 35 liter travel bag, as it'll accommodate whatever way you wish to carry your gear while keeping it protected. Whatever bag you choose, Content creators, hobbyists, and even prosumers alike will all enjoy these bags for everyday carry, whether you got a camera kit or not. Whether you decide on an old bag or a new bag, Nomadic's functionality and quality can be had at whatever your budget is. I personally can't afford to keep all these, so I'm just gonna keep one of them. If you're looking to see what other camera bags are like, check this video out over here.